Chemical reactions are very interesting. Some chemical reactions involve production of heat, whereas some chemical reactions involve consumption of heat. Let's say if you get hurt while playing and if you require instant coolness on your body, then you look for those chemical reactions which can extract heat from your body. In today's experiment, we are going to see an exothermic reaction and an endothermic reaction right in front of our eyes. So the chemical reactions in which there is production of heat or where there is a net increase of temperature in the reaction that is known as an exothermic reaction. Whereas those reactions in which there is a net decrease of temperature or in other words there is consumption of heat these chemical reactions are known as endothermic reactions. So burning of a fossil fuel is an exothermic reaction whereas getting a cold pack on your body after getting hurt is an example of an endothermic reaction. To carry out this experiment, we need four test tubes because we are going to use four reactants to carry out two reactions. So the first reagent that we need here is dilute hydrochloric acid. So we will take about 5 ml of hydrochloric acid. And put it in the first test tube. Next, we would need another 5 ml of sodium hydroxide solution. So let's pick this. Next, we would take about 1 gram of barium hydroxide and put it in the third test tube. And finally, we would pick about 1 gram of ammonium chloride and place it in the fourth test tube. Let's keep the fourth test tube as it is. Let's pick the salt. This is our ammonium chloride. We need about 1 gram. Let's add about 5 ml of water in each of these two test tubes. And do the same thing for the fourth test tube as well. So let us now measure the temperatures of each test tubes. So the first test tube is showing a temperature of 24 degrees Celsius. Let's clean this. Let's reset it. Let us measure the second test tube once again 24. All these four test tubes will be at room temperature initially. So I am just confirming that for each of the four. Yes, it is the same for this. And finally for the fourth one, all right. So the temperatures for each of the four test tubes are 24 degrees Celsius initially. Now we are going to mix test tube number one and test tube number two so that we have a reaction between NaOH and HCl also known as a neutralization reaction. Remember that you pick up NaOH and you put it in HCl instead of doing the reverse. Pick up barium hydroxide and mix it with ammonium chloride. So now we'll have to wait for some time uh, until both the reactions are complete, and then finally we'll have to measure the temperatures for each of the end products. So after having waited for some time, 
let us now measure the temperature for the first test tube which is the mixture of reaction between HCl and NaOH or the neutralization reaction. Temperature that I can see now is close to 48 degrees Celsius, right? So from 24, it has gone up to 48, which means there is a net increase of temperature, which means there is heat production in the reaction. And that's why the first reaction is an exothermic reaction. Let's reset the thermometer and let's measure the temperature of the second end product. The temperature for the second end product has dropped down to about as low as 8 degrees Celsius, which means there is a net decrease in the second reaction. There is a net decrease of temperature in the second reaction. And that leads us to concluding that there is a heat consumption that is involved in this chemical reaction. And these kind of chemical reactions are known as endothermic reactions. So I hope with the help of this experiment, it was clear to you what is the difference between exothermic reaction and endothermic reaction. Thank you for watching.